brother. <laughs> That's what I am talking about. We need to do this truck camping a little more often, huh? I'm trying to tell you, babe. Look at that. I think we might have a view of Long's Peak. Wow, we we wow. Lincoln, is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy had to chase the trash across the parking lot. Oh no! What's up guys? Jesse here with Adventure Never. We made it to Estes Park. This week, well, this next couple days, we're doing something pretty fun. We left our trailer in Silverthorne with friends, and we're just in the truck camper for the next couple days, and we're exploring Rocky Mountain National Park and Estes Park, the town of Estes Park. Uh, it was on our list to do for quite a few years, and it didn't seem like we were gonna make it with the weather turning to come all the way up here north. So we're like, let's just leave the trailer, jam up there for a couple days, use the truck camper for one of our, you know, major reasons for bringing the truck camper. So it's me, Lincoln, Melissa, Zamboni, Huddy, and uh, we're just in the truck camper and we loaded up all of our gear and everything. And right now we're about to start exploring Estes Park. We're gonna get some lunch and explore the town. Lincoln. So they say that there's a lot of elk in Estes Park. They're not kidding. There's a statue and then there's a whole bunch of elk hanging out right in this little roundabout. The baby elks. That is cool. Our first stop in Estes Park was Penelope's a super cool burger joint located right in the heart of the downtown. The burgers were incredible, atmosphere was great. We were able to sit right on the downtown strip and enjoy the excellent food. This one I think is my Hawaiian burger. Oh, Hawaiian burger. Oh man. Is there pineapple on it? There's pineapple on it, yeah. Oh no, this one's yours. That's mine. This is the elk burger. That's a double elk, double elk burger. Oh, that. that looks fancy. Wow, that's some surprise. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so burgers were excellent. The reason I went with an elk burger is because when in Estes Park, there's so many elk around, they literally take you out back and you get to shoot your own elk. What do you think, Link? What do you think of the pizza guy? Pizza guy. Yeah. 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 Bye, guy. Survey says this is a cool little town, definitely on the touristy side, um, as to be expected because you're so close to Rocky Mountain National Park, like literally right on the edge of it. A um, lot of like candy shops, chocolates, like various like t-shirt stores, ice cream, like that kind of like touristy stuff. Um, we really, really enjoyed Penelope's, um, voted the best burger in Estes Park. It's quite good. I got a Hawaiian burger with like ham, beef and pineapple and it was delicious. Um, yeah, let me shoot my own elk. elk. Oh yes, Jesse got an elk burger um, with a stipulation that you get to shoot your own elk. Yeah, they have so many in town, it's just, it's just the thing you do, yeah. Um, and now we're gonna go get coffee. What's the name of the coffee shop? Castle something? 
It's called Coffee on the Rock. Coffee on the Rocks. It came highly, highly rated from all the TikTok people that I follow. I don't really follow anyone on TikTok, but from all the TikTok things that I looked up. The, so, the algorithm sends you? It's the best coffee in this area, but it was like just kind of too far to walk with all the kids and the whole kit and caboodle. How do you talk to the geese? Do it, Link. Do it, Link. Good job. Try it again. Try it again. Louder. Good job. Hi, These are ducks, though, huh? How do you talk to ducks? Quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Can you do quack, quack? Quack, quack. Good job. Hi, duckies. Hi. One of the outdoor stores that we walked into, because we always go into the outdoor stores, so it's like our thing. Uh, the gentleman working there suggested that we go into the park tomorrow from the Estes Park side and take Old Trail River Road, Old River Trail Road. Yeah, which is a one-way dirt road, which was like the original route into uh, Rocky Mountain. Yes, and it is... Um, it's only open a couple months every summer because it's like gets that much heavy weather mm -hmm. so it's like barely open and it's not paved so um but he did say like almost any vehicle could do it though yeah it's just it's just a graded dirt road um and then we're gonna double back on old trail ridge road which is like the main road that has like the most oohs and ahs right correct they're doing like timed entry permits right now so if we hop on recreation.gov at exactly 7 p.m tonight with our like logged into our account and all of that kit and caboodle set up ready to go we might be able to get lucky and get a timed entry permit that includes the bear lake corridor which is like the most popular area of the park but we're not holding our breath we don't really particularly care um this time whether we go get to go in that area or not we just wanted to go into part of the park and like you know kind of scratch the surface but, but we'll see what it happens. is it is a tuesday night so like it's probably prime time mm -hmm. to get a pass. Like, yeah. that's the hope. Right? Yeah, and another thing too is that like most people are like, oh, it's, did you get permits to go to Rocky Mountain? Like, guys, just wake up early. You don't need to get permits. It's 9 a.m. Like, so if you go in the park at 8.45, like you don't need a permit. Like, it's really not, like you need permits. That's just for the Trail Ridge Road though. Um, you can't Whoa. go into Bear Lake Corridor without Whoa. a permit that early. Like you have, yes, to, you have to get there before 5 a.m. or after 6 So what I'm saying is that I always hear people say like, oh, like I wish I could go, but like you need permits, yada, yada, yada. Like you technically don't to go in the main part right. of the park. Not necessarily true. Yeah. Which is, so. which is nice. Like it's old school, you know, like when you just wake up early and beat everybody there mm -hmm. and you got to do what you wanted to do. I agree. Who'd thunk it, right? <laughs> So, which road will we choose? Well, this is rocking the ram. We just came up to this forest road. It's definitely not trailer rated. Maybe the Black Series again. Even the Black Series might be uh, pushing it here. We're in four low in the ram. Oh, there's a spot right there. Maybe, maybe, but where does the road go? That's the question we need to know, right, dear? Yes, we need to we know. We need to know. So we're gonna go up here, see Ooh. if there's a nice view, see if uh, we get a nice secluded, uh, I guess, overlanding spot up here. This is awesome. This is pretty cool. Good driving, fun little trail. Good encouragement and uh, fun spots. It's really hard because I miss spots like this. We just need to use this camper more. Yes. Because we might be having some big changes coming. Tell you all the time, we just gotta use the camera. I know, but the thing is, is like we got lucky because we have friends that are watching our trailer right now. They're camping there, they have to work during the work week, and they were able to watch it for us. But check this out bam! It may not look like much, but a lot of the lower spots were not amazing. This is what the camp looks like nice big turnaround. And what's cool is that, like, if you're coming up here, you're a four wheel driver because. You need low range to come up here. I think a stock truck could get up here no problem. So your average person's not coming up here, which to us is just nice because, you know, we're in a tent with kids. This is the camper 
We've done a full video tour before, but we popped it up. Lincoln's in here hanging out, right, Link? I was told. That upper bed does pull out. That's where me, Melissa, and Hudson will sleep. And then we're gonna set a pack and play here, and Lincoln is gonna sleep down in the bottom. No, um, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're gonna sleep in the bottom, buddy. You're gonna sleep in the pack and play. It's super spacious once it's all popped up, but when you do have all of everybody's stuff, room is at a premium for sure. The next day. Old Fall River Road is gonna be our first activity in Chasm Falls. Old Fall River Road goes to the highest visitor center in all the world. No, it's in, in the country. All the country. So uh, the Alpine Visitor Center is the highest visitor center in all of the United States. And what's cool is we get to take a dirt road up to it. Supposedly it's pretty easy. It's just a few switchbacks. They say pretty much any vehicle can do it, but they do gotta be careful. that we stopped at on Old Fall River Road was Chasm Falls. Chasm? Chasm? It is a really tiny little parking lot, which is good because there's there's no there's no people out here. Not really. It's kind of off the beaten path. Um, and it's a super duper short hike down to the bottom. Little platform to view like the main part of the falls. It's steep, but short. Really nice and peaceful. As long as we So we definitely brought like cold weather clothing because we were pretty confident that it would be relatively cold up here, especially like in the high alpine areas of the park. Um, but we did not bring our rain jackets. We have one for Lincoln and we have a poncho that we can put up, that I can put over like me and Huddy. We, but... we have multiple ponchos. Uh, that's something we always just keep in the truck. It's just those cheapy ponchos that you can just, you know, whatever. And then Lincoln's backpack has a rain cover too. Mm -hmm. But it's literally 41 degrees out right now and it's oh, that's September 3rd and 4th. Yeah. This it's... road is seriously awesome. If you're not scared of heights and not afraid of a dirt road, I highly recommend this maybe one of like the coolest roads we've driven in a national park in my opinion. Yeah. And we just saw a bunch of bull out. And a whole little herd of females and babies too, like on the other side of the valley. They're too far away though. Yeah. So we got binoculars. Just for that purpose. And we saw a widow wake. A little tiny lake. A widow wake. And a big old moose. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I'm just kind of annoyed with this whole system because it's good that they have a shuttle. I'm glad that that option exists and it's good that they have a sign that says bear lake trailhead parking lot is full so that you must take shuttle but when we get here and look around the parking lot is like half full yeah they do that it's like yeah update your signage what's up buddy we're gonna show people the parking lot look so when we got here right about there that red car is was all empty stay buddy and then still down here like most of said i get it but like update your sign because you know for us to go to a shuttle what is that i found a oh you found like a hattie's hat. hat oops <laughs> but babe i mean for us for us to go on a shuttle with our whole kit and caboodle with our kids and all that yeah not cool NPS, not cool because that's really difficult for us as a family. So, update your sign. Luckily, we just drove here, anyways, kind of on accident. Trust 
first hike we're gonna do here is we are gonna do a loop all the way around Bear Lake. Supposedly it's beautiful. Obviously you can tell by these hiking paths it's very popular and it's uh, it's not super secluded, but that's okay. It's kind of cool how it shows you the grade. I like that. Not that it really matters for us, but if you have health conditions or if you're older, really nice to have all that information, right? We just did Bear Lake. Now we're gonna do Alberta Falls, and which is cool. what's cool is there's like a lot of short and long hikes around this area. So very good variety depending on your hiking abilities. Pick your poison. Pick your poison. Okay, come on, hon. Whoa, careful. Okay, ready? You wanna go down this way? You wanna go right in here? Whoa, jump! Oh, you're crazy! We're gonna go down this hill. You ready? Slow and steady, bud. Slow and steady. Hike, hike, hike. Ready? Come on. You can do it. Hike, 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 hike. Oh, that was a good job. He's great. Hike, 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 hike. Oh, you see mommy? Wave to mommy. Wave, wave. Hike, 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 hike. Get, get. Get, get, get. He does not care. No. He wants what Link. He wants what our son dropped. Yeah. Chocolate bunny. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt you. 